As I got older, I was like, why is that rock sitting there? I've told this story. I'll tell it again very quickly. 1969, there was a the Minnesota River. It flows across southern Minnesota. It comes up uh, and joins the, it's a tributary to the Mississippi River. And if you come down, it's right up there where you see Big Stone Lake. That was the outlet of Glacial Lake Agassiz, which was this gigantic inland freshwater sea that was left over from the melting of the glaciers. And it burst out catastrophically right there at Big Stone Lake. And it, it's called Big Stone Lake because if you go there, there's these big old stones sitting out in the field randomly. And you go, okay, how'd these stones get there? At Eden Prairie, there was bluffs overlooking the Minnesota River Valley. That river at its peak was 4,000 times greater than the modern Minnesota River. I had this impression, I was probably in an altered state of consciousness. What were you smoking? I don't remember. <laughs> but the point was that stuck in my craw for years and after like a decade, you know, the whole of Canada was buried under a mile and a half of ice. 